So iPetty sent me this stainless steel water fountain, so I just want to do a quick unboxing assembly and go ahead and test this out to see if my cat Tiger likes it. So this opens up real easy and the first thing I see over here is going to be this little box and we're also going to have the whole water fountain itself and there's going to be uh, one little thing in here which is going to be this cleaning brush. And inside the box we're going to go ahead and have the wall adapter. Here's a close look at the filter. Here's the fountain spout, the user manual, and finally the stainless steel fountain itself. And it looks real nice, even matches with the fridge over here. And the wire is actually going to go ahead and be connected already. So all we have to do is just connect it to the wall to go ahead and power it up. Now up top this is going to be made of two different parts, so right here we have the whole mechanism with the motor and then right here we're just going to have where the water goes. Now take a look at the front of the fountain, we're going to have this bit here. So it's going to go ahead and have a clear plastic. So whenever we put water in here, we're going to know how much is left. And then here's a closer look at the cap. Right over here, this is going to be where our wire is going to go ahead and go through when we put it on the other part. Right in the center, we're going to have this plastic bit. And right on top, this is where the water is going to go ahead and also flow through. Now taking a look at the bottom of the cap, this part does go ahead and open up. I just have to go ahead and push it down, just like so. And this is actually where the filter is going to go ahead and fit. I can put it in place and go ahead and cap that. And then right here, this is going to be the pump. And I can go ahead and release it just by twisting it, just like that. And then this plastic bit on top also is going to go ahead and come out. Now taking a look at the pump itself, we're going to have this foam part all around over here and it just comes off easily. We're going to have four mini suction pads at the bottom of this and this is going to go ahead and make it easy to attach to this part of it. And this plastic bit can also go ahead and come off just like that. But I'll go ahead and put everything together and fill this with water. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up with a few glasses of water. And now the top lid can go right on top, making sure the wire just fits right through this hole here. And now we can go ahead and fit this piece right over here. And this is where the water is going to go ahead and shoot out from. And you do need to put a little bit of pressure to go ahead and push that in. Just like that. All right, so I found the perfect spot and I also added a bit more water. So now I could just go ahead and connect this right here. And it begins to go ahead and shoot out on both sides. So here you can see it's shooting out of both sides and it's just coming down all the way here and it goes through the filter, comes back down and then of course keeps recycling the same water. And then right here we can see how much water there is and we can also see that the blue light is on. And now something to note is this is probably one of the quietest water fountains I've had so far. I've tested a bunch and this one makes very little noise. This is overpowering it right now, uh, my big water tower, but this is really silent. So let's hope Tiger goes ahead and likes this.